Everyone wants to know what we're finding in the wall. Treasure. Treasures. So this week we have not one, but two semi-finished rooms to show you. Last week we left off right after Hurricane Milton when we didn't have power and we were trying to finish our parlor, but without the power, the hardware store couldn't mix the paint for us. And there were some other things we couldn't do because we couldn't use power tools. So after some yard cleanup and power restoration, we're back in the parlor and we're gonna finish this week, fingers crossed. But before we show you our finished parlor, there's another room we've been working on. Come with us back to February when we were really excited to get started on our powder room and we bought our sink and our faucet. So let's go unbox them. Now that we've demoed the downstairs powder room, we have been working on the redesign and we picked out a sink. This was one of the challenges we had because the bathroom is super tiny um, and couldn't find a sink that would actually fit. The sink goes right next to the door. And so um, when you walk in, you kind of run into the sink and things have changed a little bit since we had to have the plumbing redone. Um, so with the old sink, the plumbing was a little bit further away from the doorway, but with the new regulations, it had to be, to meet code, it had to be closer to the doorway, further from the toilet. So anyway, it was really hard to find a sink that would actually fit in the space. Yeah, because of code, they pushed the sink closer to the door. So that meant we had to shrink the sink. Yeah. Shrink um, the sink. So we did find a tiny sink. We also found some, um, the faucet for it. And we were also trying to stick with something that we thought would look a little bit original to the 1920s. Because um, mm -hmm. that bathroom was very 1958, it was stamped. Yeah. So fortunately the toilet and sink found a new home. Um, met a lady online who was redoing her whole house in 1950s. Uh, and so that pink sink and pink toilet found a new home. Yeah, so um, let's get this thing open and see if we like it. I've never seen that before. So when they packed this sink, they sprayed foam all around it. So this is gonna make a huge mess um, trying to take it out. So we'll be back in just a minute. This is the most securely packed item we've received so far for the house. Are your hands going to fit in there? Yeah. Maybe. Let's open the faucet and find out. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> what do you think? Do your hands fit? Yeah. We're going to take it into the powder room and see how it looks. That opens it up quite a bit. Yeah, the room feels so much bigger now. Do 
So you can see the width of the doorway here. Now you know why we needed such a small sink. <laughs> Alright, for being small, it's actually kind of heavy. mission today we have to find a paint color for the downstairs powder room because we just found out from the contractor that our plumber is coming tomorrow to install the sink and it's a wall mount sink so we really want to get it painted tonight so let's go check out some paint chips and see if we can find something that we like oh also the fixtures in that room are a brushed nickel because somewhere packed somewhere in our house I have a antique shelf that is a, it's a really pretty glass shelf with a glass towel rod and it's like a, a brushed nickel metal color on the sides and my mom got it for me like probably 20 years ago and I've been moving it with me from house to house and I've never actually hung it and I think this is the house that it's finally going to go in and it's very old, it's probably over 100 years old itself so I think it'll be a perfect um, a perfect place for it to finally end up. But anyway, those are my thoughts when thinking about a color. So let's go see what we can find. There's a possibility that I'm going to be daring and go with something a little bit darker, but I'm going to just tape them all up and see what happens. So here is the bathroom that we're talking about. Blank canvas. One thing that we've already done is we've replaced all of the light switches in the house to make them white, which instantly made a big difference. Everything looks a lot cleaner. I just sent a picture to Hal. He's at work. I have a feeling he's going to go with this one or this one. He tends to kind of like the warmer colors and most of the house we've done in kind of warmer tones. So that's why I picked some for this room that were a little bit cooler to maybe have one room that's a little bit different, but I'm not sure. I'm having a hard time making up my mind still. Here's what it looks like from out here. I know you probably can't tell very well with the lighting. We don't have any lights in here and we don't have any um, electricity. This is hooked up, but I don't think it's working yet. Um, so during the day, there's a lot of natural light in here because of this window. So having a darker color wouldn't really be too bad. Maybe something in between. Like maybe something like this, but I don't know. I still keep being drawn to the ones up top there. Oh, Hal just texted me back. I'm going to see what he said. Okay, I'm shocked. He actually said he likes this one, which is, I think, the darkest one. I like that one too, but I'm kind of, if we're going to go dark, I'm kind of leaning toward this one that's a little bit more blue. This is called Rainy Days, and this is called Early Riser. But I am going to start eliminating some of the ones that I know I don't want. I'm pretty sure I don't want this. It's a little too brown. I think that's the only one I'm eliminating so far. 
One more piece of this puzzle is that this is our trim color. It's called True White. It's by Magnolia. Of course, it looks great with all of these. <laughs> so that doesn't really help me much. I think I'm gonna have to wait until Hal gets off of work and we can come back here together because this one I need a second opinion on for sure. Okay, we're back and Hal is checking out the colors to make the final decision because I'm so indecisive. Well, I looked at the photos that were texted to me, but now that I'm here in the space, this is one of the faucets, nickel plated, and I uh, just wanted to compare the color and see which one I like. I was leaning towards these two. Okay, let's eliminate the ones that we definitely don't like. Let's line up what we have left. I mean, since it's small, I think going with a lighter color would make sense, but I don't know. All right, we picked a color. It wasn't the color that we thought it was gonna be. We went a different direction. We'll show you when we put it up on the wall. We got the paint, we had dinner, and now we're back here to paint. This bathroom is so tiny. We're here to check out the sink that's been installed in the downstairs powder room. It looks tiny. I knew it was going to look tiny. Whoa, it's really tiny. It's cute though. It's really cute. It's, pretty good. it's the tiniest sink ever. Yeah. I like it though. I think it's adorable. Do your hands fit in it? Barely. Well, the kitchen is right here. Yeah. So. I mean, if if you got to do more than just rinse your hands, then you have bigger problems. Today we're working on some flooring for our downstairs powder room and this is a temporary flooring fix because we have an inspection coming up that requires us to have the bathroom to be complete and we want to take a little bit more time to figure out what tile pattern and design we want to do for the powder room because I like taking forever to make these decisions. Yeah, I think I would have had it picked up. <laughs> well, I want to do a neat design and so I don't want to rush it. Um, so in the meantime, just so that we have flooring done for the inspection, right now it's just the subfloor, um, we were able to pick up this vinyl flooring for really cheap on Facebook Marketplace. Typically we would not be putting vinyl flooring in this 101 year old house. We prefer hardwood or tile. But it actually, it, one, it was cheap and two, it matches our wood floors really well. Yeah. So it's not going to be a big drastic, and it's the plank. It's a little thicker. It's not like linoleum. Yeah, they're actually really nice. And um, originally in this bathroom a hundred years ago, they did have wood floors. They actually yeah. didn't have tile. So we're doing tile because that's what we like. But in the meantime, we're going to have these floors. So we're putting those in today. So the reason we said the reveals today are semi-finished rooms is because we still have a few things left to do in here, obviously. We need to get a toilet seat still, because this toilet didn't come with a toilet seat, um, but it is functional. I also still need to pick out a mirror and a light fixture, and then I have to find that antique shelf that I have 
that I mentioned earlier in the video, and that's gonna go right here, which I think is gonna look really nice with our cute little sink. We also have to pick out tile for this floor because right now we just have this temporary laminate flooring, which will get us through the inspection, which is what we were most concerned about right now. And now we're gonna be able to take our time picking out the tile that we wanna put in here and creating a design and making it really pretty. So the good news is there'll be another video on this bathroom once we get all of those final touches picked out and finished. One thing we realized we can do while we don't have power is install the fan. So you flipped all the breakers, right? Yeah, I flipped all the breakers anyway. Everything's off just in case the power comes back on as we're doing this. And I'm going to attempt to wire the fan. Let's myself. do it. You got this. Yeah, that was easy, right? Yeah, we did. Right? It looks good. We left off with you. We were trying to figure out what color paint we were going to paint this room. And if you remember, we had had a sample mix that we really liked but it turned out that there was no formula for that sample. It was something that the guy working had just made up and we ended up really liking it. So another guy who was working tried to duplicate it for us, but we just couldn't come up with the same color. They couldn't do a color match because the color was so light. So that was this color, which is really hard to see on camera. It's like a light peachy color. So we had tried this one, which was a little bit too orangey for us, and then this was a little bit too gray. We ended up going with something completely different. The color we ended up going with is Benjamin Moore paint, and it's called Winter White, but it's actually a little bit of a light green, and I hope it's translating on camera because it's really, really pretty in person. And one of our goals with choosing colors for the house was to really brighten the space up because if you remember before, it was super dark and dingy and dirty and now the space just feels really bright and fresh and clean. Okay, so it's time to put this back up. Um, I did notice that there's a bit of a gap right here. So I'm gonna have to take some of this concrete out, which shouldn't be a problem, but hopefully it uh, doesn't chip out to any bigger pieces. As I look at it, it is a little off. So I don't think it's going to line up quite perfectly with the uh, wall there, but hopefully I'll put it in, I'll shoot some nails, and if my aim is true, um, I'll be able to punch them into this board here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This little chunk right here needs to come out. pretty good. I'm just going to touch up this corner with some paint uh, because once it's up we're not going to be able to paint behind it there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and repair this corner right here. I have these two uh, one by sixes or eights, one by eights um, that I have, and I'm just going to put like that into the corner. Um, I've already cut this corner, cut this one, I'm going to cut this one, and then uh, fit them in there. Treasure? Treasure hunt. 
Everyone wants to know what we're finding in the walls. What is this? Is this pure silver? It's a pirate earring? Piece of paper. What's that? I have no idea. Weird piece of metal? It's metal. Rotten floor. That's the patch I made on the other side. Mm -hmm. Brush the old nail. So here's our collection of treasures. <laughs> treasures. Collection of treasures. Collection of treasures. There you have it. That's what we're finding in our walls. Ew. Previous tenant. Blech. Turning. Looks good in here. Yeah, I really like it in here. Cool. You wired that. finally have our parlor reveal for you. Let's take a quick look back at how the parlor looked on the day we bought the house. There's evidence of rats everywhere. And here's how it looks now. This is the closest we've been to having a livable room in the house. It's not completely done because we still have to refinish these floors and we don't have the quarter round up around the baseboard yet because we're gonna redo the floors first, but it's clean in here. It smells nice. It smells nice. We have a nice place now with a fan to take our breaks and a lamp and a clean surface. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. <laughs> If you want to see us redo our next room, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in two weeks.